The summer's first global blockbuster is officially on the big screen. Christopher Nolan's Tenet launches internationally today with a plug from one of Hollywood's biggest stars. Here we are. Back to the movies. Tom Cruise may have seen Tenet in London, but U.S. theaters are relying on the film to boost their box office numbers next month. U.S. ticket sales last weekend were down 93% from the year before. Tenet is distributed by Warner Brothers Pictures, which shares a parent company with CNN. Shelley Taylor is the CEO of Alamo Draft House Theater Cinema uh, in the U.S. She joins us live now from Austin, Texas via Skype. Shelley, thank you so much for being with us. So. Um, what do you expect in terms of audiences coming back? Obviously, next month you've got a big blockbuster like Tenet. Um, what does it look like in terms of wh where audience levels will be, do you think? Yeah, that's a great question. What we can look back on is this past weekend, we opened a handful of our theaters and a huge thank you to all of our teammates um, in our theater support center and our franchisees who did that. Um, and in, in doing so, we had a lot of folks coming back and excited to um, just be back at the movies. But how will the experience be different for people just in terms of how space is utilized? And, you know, obviously there's going to be mandatory masks and that sort of thing. What can people expect? Yeah, that's, that's super important. So we have spent a lot of time thinking about the safest possible way to, to experience the theater while continuing to have a great theater experience. So you'll find everything from online ticketing and purchasing to minimized contact, um, to enhanced uh, sanitation and cleaning procedures, masks, of course, we ask everyone to bring and wear a mask, um, except when they're eating or drinking inside the theater, um, as well as temperature checks and, and a number of um, different, different um, safety procedures. But you've also um, offered audience goers the ability to to rent their own private theater for I believe it starts at hundred and fifty dollars I mean is that something that people have shown more interest in in this environment we were we were blown away by the number of um, private theaters that we've been selling uh, it's great to see families and friends and groups of people come up to 30 uh, we have a, a great lineup for them of, of theaters or excuse me movies to select and uh, so far it's been really popular how do you decide which theaters to open? I mean, obviously, part of it is dependent on local laws and what's happening in each individual uh, area or state. But but is there a strategy in terms of why you might open one theater and not another at this time? Yeah, yeah, of course, it is local laws. And then also just looking at COVID cases and how they're, you know, they need to be flattening or declining. But we're also looking at profitability and, and which theaters we can open and at least break even or do better, which is important for the business as we weather, weather this storm. Um, and it just in terms of the long term trends for movie theaters, I mean, people have been talking about this idea that streaming is going to overtake the need for people to go to movies or there's not going to be that much interest. This is well before the pandemic. Um, you know, what does the pandemic mean for just the long term interest in, in people actually wanting to go to the movie theater as they avoid crowds? Yeah, I can just speak to my own experience, right? Like me, along with many people, we've been watching uh, movies at home, but I can also tell you um, that people are yearning to return to the cinema. You know, that experience with, you know, big sound and picture, um, you know, community with good food. And so I think that even, you know, COVID or post-COVID, um, people do want to go out to the cinema. All right. Uh, Shelley Taylor, live for us there. Thank you so much.